West Virginia, West Virginia is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's tackled at the 24-yard line, so the fullback loses about a yard. He fights forward to about the 26. Going long. And it's the senior. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. The pitch, and he's got some room. Touchdown, Navy! He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success, but these guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Mountaineers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Reception. Number nine on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. Too little, Cupcake. Check, check. This goes Quick throw. He scooped up. turnover Kirk way to be heads up out there that corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble and as the defense comes back out you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around and it was a really nice drive too Brad the quarterback got into a nice rhythm he did a good job of picking apart the defense and he makes it out to about the 41 yard line he gains a couple of yards on the carry Navy is up by a touchdown. Makes it out to about the 29. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Gets to about the 27-yard line. And he's level at the 18 yard line. A monster run there by the fullback. You kind of wrap the big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. And they make the stop at about the 17 yard line. Second and nine. He's two yard carry by the fullback. Gain of two yards. Third 
It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 15. Play action under pressure. And he's tackled right away. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the three yard line. Navy is up seven. And they hit him in the backfield. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's scrambling. This one should be makeable. Navy can make this a two possession game with this field goal. It's up and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick strike to the receiver. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't Number 53 they don't brings him down, down at the 43-yard line. line. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. ten. Up the middle Number for a nice game. Makes the tackle. Gain of five yards. Defense wins championships, baby. That brings him second and five. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Quick throw out to the receiver. Number nine with the reception. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. And they got him. But not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Navy's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point and keep their foot on the accelerator. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, Navy in front, 10-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Check. Tight right, tight right, tight right. Solo out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down. 
Three down, three down. Right here. Got an opening. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds around the 50 yard line. He's at the 40, and down he goes, around the 36-yard line. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. That'll bring up second. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 37. Play fake and looking to run. Tackle made at the 27 yard line. And now the ball is loose. It's picked up by the offense. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. Sets them up for the first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Touchdown, Midshipman. They went to their power back to get him in. I love to watch this guy play football. He just lowers his head and dares people to get in front of him. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 81-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Red two, red nine. Quick throw incomplete by his receiver. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Knocked down, incomplete. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Caught and he's hit immediately. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. <laughs> nice yardage on the run back. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line.
Now he pitches it. And they get nice yardage on that run. to about the 31 yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Brought down at the 27. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Pushed out of bounds, right around the 20. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. From the 20-yard line, first down. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. It's recovered. Navy just took their first time out. Tenth play of the drive. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this third and very long. Throws this one out to the right, and that one's incomplete. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. West Virginia's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now as we start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense, and then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back, but in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. He airs it out. And it's intercepted. Jake's on a tackle. Brad, it's still early in this game. And they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. He's on the run. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Now he's scrambling, decides to slide. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And he's got to be happy. 
happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking a long way to go to even think about a score. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. I feel the corner position is really one of the hardest to play. So when I see a young player like this make a play like that, phew, it's impressive. We played a half of football. Navy in front, 20 to nothing. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've played 30 minutes. The game seems to be well in hand. It's not that this result or this halftime score is unexpected, but no competitor goes into a game thinking he has no chance. What impact do you think this has on the rest of their season? Well, you do always think that you have a chance, but you do have to be realistic, and you have to look at it there and go, those guys on the other side, they're a lot better than us. And it's one of those things where you probably have to, you know you have to execute perfectly, and they have to make some mistakes for you to win. So I don't think all hope is lost, but I think you can rally the second half and make this game a little bit more interesting, keep it closer, and, and just try not to get absolutely completely run out of the building like you're doing right now in the first half. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Navy's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Makes it out to about the 33. He lets it go. Finds the junior. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. Back with a carry, and he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. He gets rid of this one. From the 11-yard line, third down. Passes into tight coverage, and it's going the other way. The pressure up front is really what did it. The coverage was good, and maybe it confused him, but it was the heat that forced the bad throw. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. down in the backfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He fights 
gets forward to about the 30. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Let's go! And he's stopped behind the line. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. And this one is a beauty. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 32. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick out to his receiver. And they push him out right around to 40. That's First down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. He fights forward to about the 40. That makes it second and 10. some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Quick throw, he's got his man again, and he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. And he's tackled at the six-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From the six-yard line, second down. Taken down at the two. He gets rid of this one. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and it is good. West Virginia is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. West Virginia has done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. is back and down he goes at the 24 that'll bring up second and 11 second down and 11 ball on the 24 30 was the mic and he's tackled after positive yardage That'll bring up third and four. 
He scrambled. And they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 29. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Tackle made at the 41. Game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 31's the mic. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, D. Man up. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Slings it. Brought down at the 43. to that quickly. Tackle around the 50-yard line. So at the end of three, the midshipmen lead 20 to three. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. Starting to go. Fires incomplete. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short. And they really showed up on that play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets to around the 42. Some hard at the 40. Tackles him for a loss. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Here we go. Red 18. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a game. Fourth down. down. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Navy ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Once and all, going deep. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. And he's hit immediately. Looks like finding his tailback. That'll bring up second and three. Scoops it up. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. for a loss. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Nice run up the middle. That makes it third and seven. job by the defense at getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled he punts it away and it's a great kick oh he got nailed on that one not years but they had the right game plan and the right player to do it neither worked out yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. Caught out of the open. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. That'll make it second and four. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. First down. Gets it. He's in space. They'll bring him down at the 34. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. A little over a minute in the game. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. From their own 41-yard line. First, and ten. First down. Let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Oh, dude. The Mountaineers taking their first time out of the half. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. There's the strike complete. Touchdown! Huge play! Ah! 
He's hit the 300-yard mark with that throw. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 88-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. There's a slide on the field. Free kick, Free kick out, out of, of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. team. You know, there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an onside kick, but Still kicking the ball out of bounds is one of the last things you'd be worried about. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on the 48-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. He'll go down to one knee. Gets to about the 47-yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, 23-10, Navy. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.